the mentality you need to have. You need to see it before it actually happens. If you're too late in the process, it, it, it can be quite daunting in, in, in any organization. But I think the most fundamental part is, um, and I like to quote Steve Jobs because uh, I'm a big fan of what he's done with Apple, because a simple thing he always done is, I'm gonna have to understand my customers and then be working backwards. And you know, 20, 30 years later, there's still a lot of organization doesn't think like this because we have a mindset to say, I know the industry, I've been here for 20 years or 30 years, but the world changes all the time. And can you honestly be self-reflective and admit to the fact that have you actually followed the trend or do you just keep doing the same? So I grew up with a professor who taught me and said, you've got two types of people, one who's got 10 years of experience and one who's got one year repeated 10 times. And I think we need to really look at that in, in any organization because if you've got someone with 10 years experience, they're curious, they want to understand, they want to change. But also these are the type of people that would leave your organization if things are not moving. You know, so sometimes we end up losing the very good people that could be your kind of your innovation engine in an organization. Yeah, I think that uh, um, Jeff Bezos said it's like the... Uh, first day, um, yeah, first day uh, impression. I don't remember exactly what you said, but uh, you always, uh, you're always wondering, curious, like in the first day. So yeah. it's, it's like you're always open to new opportunities and it's not like you know. You want to ask questions more than you want to answer them. And yeah. once you, you have this mentality, uh, you, you're more prone to do things different. And, and, and I totally understand, like, in general, people don't like to change. They don't no. like to change. They want to know. They don't want not to know, right? No. So uh, they want to think that they know everything and they're doing everything right and they don't no. need to change. And it, it's the same for employees and leaders. It's just the same. And once this company, this entity is very successful right now, yeah. um, it's it just makes sense, right? Yeah. So we, we know the industry, we know our suppliers, we know everything. We don't need to go to this end customers because it's just the same. And even if yeah. something changes in their end, end customers' needs, they will not know because for them it's like, yeah, what they wanted 10 years ago, it's just the same right now, right? No, you're absolutely spot on. I think you're spot on. And I think just to pick up on your point on data, I think because yes, we need data, and I think we are in a situation today where we work with real time data. Um, and I think we need to, to use that to make decisions. I, I think my concern is sometimes I have with data is how we interpret, because I have seen so many business cases in my life and I create a lot of business cases, but we manipulate the data to make it fit our agenda, to make it fit what, what we think is the right way. Yeah. But what data doesn't tell you is data can give you some patterns. But sometimes it doesn't tell you the behavior. But that means you've got to get out of the house. You've got to go out and talk to people. You've got to talk to your customers. The minute you hide behind the desk, behind the screen, and never leave the building, you only have one side of the story. And that's not going to help you in your innovation journey because you've got to be out there. And, and, and that, that's what we, we, we teach a lot to our customers is because I normally look and I present a simple graph to them. I said, one is, and that's the traditional one, we have a problem we need to solve. Then we look at the data and then we create a business case. And business case for me tend to be based on assumptions and based on emotions. And the assumption is fine to have, but you've got to have to test them. You know, assumption is just an assumption until we actually tested it. So yeah. it's not on you. You don't need to peel a layer off all the time to reduce uncertainty. But it's not going to give you a picture of a night, but you've got to have a bit of patience with that. But what happens then? And then you've got a set of management team that's going to buy into that idea. And they're going to mobilize a team. You've got to build that idea and then you've got to introduce it to market. And that's when you start getting feedback. And then it's very late in the process. So 